A finder this morning says accidents, 696 killed in three months. Uh, that uh, represents 17.57% increase over first quarter of 2018 figures. The finder has that story. And uh, Ken Crunchy sues general legal counsel over mass examination failures. I'm sure you know that story. Daily graphic, Shatawali, stone boy arrested. There are photographs here, uh, a story that you already know, uh, the fallout from the awards uh, last night. And then Ghanaian Times, government releases 2 million Ghana cities as scholarship for 2018 national best farmers children. Uh, those are some of the newspapers I have with me this morning. My guest to do the talking, a member of parliament for the Futu constituency, a member of the NPP, Honorable Alexander Fiyomakin, is here. Good morning. All right. I hope you're doing great. Mm -hmm. We on. Okay, grateful for your time. Um, let's start the conversation this way. You, your constituency is a, a fishing one. Now, um, this, the, the sea has been shut, uh, uh, literally. And how are the fishermen there? Uh, they've been the women who engage in uh fish business fairing well thank you um we were able to engage them mm. proud to the final decision for the women were able to group them and uh, maslock has come in with uh, some facility mm. to help them get their eyes uh, uh, the one they get normally from, uh, they call it ice, you know, the, right. the, the frozen ones mm. from Tema. So they continue to uh, trade instead of being idle. Tomorrow we are meeting uh, the fishermen from Second D, you know. We have over 2,000 people in uh, big canoes in Second D. We are meeting them and their wives mm. with some intervention. Um, those who ply their trade along the coast, especially the bakers, over the weekend, were able to get them flour, sugar, and margarine so that they continue to do their business. So they're not going to be idle. Um, those at Warababa and um, Akosia Village, uh, the dragnet fishermen, will also get some support. So we hope that. Within this month, um, instead of they being idle yeah. and there's an alternative uh, job for them, we train some mm. in um, um, granite paces. Some were able to get some other financial support. So I believe that um, within the month, they would have seen some intervention coming their way. And it wouldn't be the way initially they, they thought initially so that they will be either hungry to do. and not have anything to do. The good news again is that uh, Efutu was among the communities that government identified for the construction of the landing beach. And they can say with pride and joy that it is not just a paperwork. The facility has been approved. Contractor has come to win about with the consultant, uh, government officials came in, and the disbursements have been done. So in June, the contractor is going to start work. It's a 16-month uh, project. It has a, a market, a modern fish market, uh, a modern fish market, a coastal, a hospital, and a, a KG. And uh, within the period. Uh, of construction, at least our artisans will get jobs. My joy again is the emphasis on local content, mm. that the contractor has been told that the locals must be fully engaged. So at least those who have their steel benders, uh, blacksmiths, uh, carpenters, masons, are all going to have the opportunity, drivers, because a lot of trucks will be uh, moving up and down and all that. And mm -hmm. of course, those uh, who have their properties, there's going to be... To, to rent them out. Of course. Okay. You know. okay. So, um, Efutu has every good reason to, uh, to celebrate. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm encouraging our youth to take advantage of the opportunities and then uh, make a living. Uh, in the past, the cry had been that there are no jobs. We have no jobs. We are idle. We try to engage the university because it's the only institution that uh, our people depend on. We try to engage them to at least set up some youth, get about 10 of them, support them with entrepreneurship, uh, um, uh, some contract and all that. But that has <laughs> just uh, uh, failed because uh, I think the university mm -hmm. authorities have their own plans. But this is another opportunity that I think that my people would have to take, take advantage, advantage of. In the 70s, we had the Pomazi Pottery, Mankwazi Fisheries, we had KB Annan Company, AC Aqua. Those were entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. and we, they were able to employ a lot of our people. And the government intervention that created jobs. But today, the focus is on the private sector. Government is not going to establish a company. So I continue to encourage the, the young men mm. that take advantage. I am a businessman. I am opening up opportunities for them. Taxi work and pay, we've introduced it. It's working. Take advantage and work. We're supporting a lot of them to engage in supply, running training for them. So I think that so far so good. I'm very optimistic. And the real estate business which has started, uh, you can now live in Winneba and uh, work in Accra and return. One, mm. one and a half hours, I'm sure, uh, uh, it won't be like uh, uh, going from Pram Pram. <laughs> okay. Pram Pram to Accra, people Let, are let me introduce you. So, first. if we do to yes. Accra, wouldn't be a big burden. <laughs> Sam George is the MP for, <laughs> MP for Ningo Pram Pram, a member of the NDC. Good morning. I'm Sam George. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. Okay, uh, your constituency is also a, f a, a fishing one. Uh, the, how are the fishermen and women in fishing doing now that is, uh, the sea is shut? Let me say very good morning to mm. yourself and my senior, um, Honorable Afenya Marken, mm. and the viewers. I, I, I listen to him. I mean, basically, what he's done is to uh, launch his campaign on your platform. <laughs> And speak about personal intervention. Campaign for 2020 or where? Uh, no, his internal primaries. Ah, oh, oh, okay, I see. You know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the close fishing season was mm. not introduced by the member of parliament mm. or by parliament. It was introduced by government, mm. and so I would have expected to hear systems that were put in place by government that cut across the entire coast from Aflao to Dixkov. You understand me? That is when you realize that government has been proactive. Government is thinking. But the truth and reality of the case is our fishermen are struggling, and people are having to fill in the gaps. Members of parliament, he's in government. I mean, it's easy for him to uh, raise resource because he's in government and all of that. But what about constituencies where the members of parliament are not in government and have no access to some of the kinds of logistics that being in government makes you avail gives make, makes available to you. These fishermen, the fishmongers, they've been left to their fate. And again, I keep saying that, look, the, the whole idea of a closed fishing season is not a bad policy initiative. I mean, I'm, I'm being straight up with this. It's not a bad policy initiative. However, the problem of this government has always been implementation. You want to ask yourself, we've closed the fishing season now. The fish that we, we say we want to protect, are they currently in Ghana's waters? Because don't forget that the, the fish is not stationary. The fish is migratory. They migrate through our waters. They come all the way from Liberia, along the Gulf of Guinea, mm. okay, all the way down through Ivory Coast into Ghana, go to Togo. So if you speak to the fishermen, and I come from a fishing village, my granddad was a chief fisherman, I have cousins who are still fishing. When you speak to them, and you speak to the fishermen, the chief fishermen, they'll tell you the challenges. They'll tell you that, look, this is the wrong time. Because you, you, want, you want to protect the fish because you say you, you need them to spawn. Right. When is the spawning season? For which particular type of fish? All of these technical details need to be had. What, what particular type of fish are we trying to protect? Where, when does it spawn? When is it within Ghana's waters? Do they spawn within Ghana's waters in the first place? These are questions that the ministry has failed to answer. Look, if we want to protect fishing, yes, the artisanal fishermen 
and, and, and there's quite a number of them, okay? In one community in my constituency, you could have close to 500 people who are artisanal fishermen in one area, and in other places as many as 2,000. Mm. And, and you can imagine the number of lives that are affected across the coast of our, of, of our country. The ministry has no, no care for what their issues are. They tried to introduce it last year. The fishermen kicked against it. And within the period that they, they tried to do it last year and this year, there's been no serious engagement with the fisher folks to explain the issues to them and understand from their own side of view what their issues are. All that we've seen has been a change that it was supposed to be in August. The fishermen said it was very close to uh, Homo War. And so because of that, you won't get the chili. Let's ask ourselves. You don't get chili at this time. Chili really doesn't. This is not the bumper harvest season for chili. The fish we call chili. This is not the bumper harvest time for it. It's in August. That's why we use it for Homo War. So if you just change the date and you are not minded about the Chinese trawlers, the pear trawling, that is the real bane of fishing in this country. That is what is depleting stock. I mean, I don't know any of the artisanal fishermen. I can certainly speak for Ningo Pram Pram. I don't know about Ningo too. That do dragnet fishing. None of the artisanal fishermen do that. They don't go and sweep the sea, the ocean floor. It's a, it's a foreigners who are in our country who are doing this. They can't do this in their jurisdictions. They don't do this in China. They don't do this in Japan. But you have all of those fishing vessels in Ghana, licensed and given permits by our Ministry of Fisheries to conduct the, 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 the kind of business they're doing. And we're not, we're not clamping down on them. We're rather clamping down on our own artisanal fishermen. I'm not saying our artisanal fishermen are without blame, but I'm saying that if you want to really curb this, you look at the bigger menace and let us put it on record. Government has no intervention policy for the fisher folks, for fish, fishmongers in this season. Absolutely nothing. They've been left to their fate. Go, look, let your cameras, don't go all the way to Ningo Pram Pram or Ewutu and let's state for the record. And let's state for the records. Living in Pram Pram and coming to work in Accra is easier and more eco friendly than coming from Ewutu. <laughs> you don't need to do that this time. You don't burn so much diesel <laughs> and petrol. Your carbon I, footprint I, is lower. I guess it would but, be help in uh, dealing with the traffic <laughs> from. It's, an, uh, it's a fantastic place, both to Ningo and both uh, Ewutu. The, 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 the traffic situation is what perhaps will worry people. Yeah, I mean, but, but I mean, today, 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 my brother can talk about living in the Futu and coming to Accra mm. thanks to President Mahama. If President Mahama had not constructed a Kaswa interchange, <laughs> which his government at the time in opposition <laughs> said was overpriced, I see. You, you, you would have done, you'd have, the one and a half hours he says is the travel time, you'd have done that alone at just Kaswa, you know. But, but ultimately, let us establish the fact that the, the NPP administration especially in this fishery sector, led by Honorable Afole, the Minister for Fisheries, has failed to engage, has failed the fisher folk because they've been left to their fate. Like I said, let your cameras go to Choco, let them, let them go to Jamestown, let them go to Teshi, her own constituency, where she comes from, where, where she's MP for Nongwa, Crow, go there and go and talk to the fisher folks and see if they are happy and see if they've not been left to their fate. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Um, I, I thought we were moving on. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, you, 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 go ahead. Let's go conclude ahead. on mm. the issue of the close season. The close season. With all due respect. Well, I don't expect... He, he says he's all for it. No, yeah, well, but uh, all for it, but, you know, and then but you, you, you destroy your all for it. Um, well, he's a politician, opposition, he wants to come into government, but I expect him to put out the facts as they are and be as fair as possible. One, last year, I was part of the team that engaged the fishermen. Mm. The chief fishermen, their only concern was the short notice. But they themselves agreed that we needed to have this close season. So let the records reflect that the government agreed to you know, suspend the, the, the program because the fishermen were of the view that, look, they need to educate their people. They need to be engaged more. So for you to come and suggest that the minister has failed, with, with all due respect, is just below belt. Two, um, some should not create the impression that NPP government, within the last two years, has done nothing on the 
on the issue of the needs of our fishermen. No. In the other time. You said the, no. the, the, the closed season. I think no, no, I'm going to, I'm, I'm addressing it. Except I mean, you want to uh, go back. Yeah, to, uh, but because, you see, okay. the closed season, you said there was no engagement, which is not true. Were the fishermen themselves? No, themselves? no, he yeah, said there was no engagement. That was last year, right. Let's, let's restrate the fact well. Mm. That was last year, and government suspended it. This year, have you heard any noise? No. Because there was a continuous engagement. They were well educated. They themselves, a consensus was, was, was reached on when to do this. So at least be fair to government. Be fair. We also agree that the depletion is just too much. They themselves say it. Now you are trying to say that not, not much thinking went into the decision to close the season. I mean, I mean, you, you are saying that there are in, no technocrats in, in reference at the ministry. To what and the order, would do at which, the end, within this period. That, that's what he said. Of course. So, but if you merely get up, me, when I was in opposition, I engaged government officials. Let me give you an example. I said, Tekpe, I would go to him. Situations like uh, fish, fishermen, they are neat. I would go to uh, Shariaiti for Abba Moto. I would go to her. I wouldn't say because I'm in opposition. I will go and say, so I remember at a point, I, Auntie Sherry said, Alex, write a letter that you are going to guarantee with your common fund. And I did. So it is not enough to say that because you are in opposition, you have an MC or a DC in your constituency. Engage him, sit, work together. If there is mass lock that you want to tap, say that you, you've made an effort and it has failed. Yeah. Or that because you are a politician, uh, you are in opposition, they, you were not supported. So if you create the impression that government has allowed people to their faith. That is not correct. Because in opposition, in opposition, I took advantage of the opportunities and I engaged my colleagues in government and I got results. Okay, so... So, 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 so it is, the impression should not be created mm -hmm. that our fishermen our fishmongers have been left to their fate. Okay. That impression L let should me, not be... Uh, I, I think he was trying to be, suggest that be there is no... Uh, uh, a policy direct from government for all the fishing areas of the country. He said, for no, instance, yours is just you, the MP, no. having uh, have put in some measures for your constituency. But he's asking that, is there a program for, let's say, from Teshi all the way to uh, Azim for okay. fishermen, so from government? So That's the question. So but, when but, but government... Right. No, no, let me answer his question. Okay. Okay. You know, you know, we've not finished. We've okay. not finished. Specific, no, no, no. Sam, let me finish. You have noted Sam, don't worry. Let note me it. Let, let's have, a, let's have a very decent debate this morning. Okay. Right. My point is, we have sufficient intervention programs in place. It is for us to tap okay. into it. So, SIF, I gave you an example mm -hmm. when I was in opposition. Situations like this, I'll go to Sir Tepe. I'll write. He said, Alex, write. And there is always some contingency. They will approve, give you some 100,000 through the assembly. Then you do your intervention. Mm. All right? Now we have mass lock there. My question is, a situation like this, what did, what did I do? I wrote, got the groups, and last week we did it. We monitored and realized that we we'll need this. I'm saying that when the systems are already in place, it is for you to tap into it. If you do, and because you are an NDC, you are told that because you are an NDC, you can't have it, then you have cause to complain. If you now say that, oh, government should now reintroduce a system of mitigation, and I'm, then I don't get so the point. So your point is that there are enough, enough measures of course, just that take these fishermen can Take advantage, into. and I've given you an example okay. of, of Arbor Motors. I've okay. given you an example of Arbor Motors. Last, in 2015, 2016, there was an intervention through the assemblies. All right? Mm. I didn't just sit to say that I'm in opposition. I wrote. Though my fishermen did not pay and I was in trouble, though, but I wrote. And I got it for them. I took the Admiral Motors there. So make the effort rather okay, than right. okay. rather than going the normal political. Okay. It will be like the way you said you say you implement free teachers. Implement land let us see. When it is implemented, you complain. You said the places were crowded, schools were crowded. Now double track is introduced, you still complain. 
when you talk about Madina Adenta <laughs> of a footbridge, okay. you complain it is done. I then mean, now you say the architecture is bad. <laughs> so what exactly is that? Well, well, I'm right. grateful. Let me get uh, some joy to come. So he says everything, that there are enough measures. In Have you done in everything he said? Mm. You see, one, he has not been fair to me because he's not asked or done his checks to find out if what he's suggesting has not been done. Okay. Now he's bringing us to that position. You see, I didn't want to personalize this, but let's 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 have full disclosure. No problem. Okay. Let's go. Let me state for the records that as member of parliament, I have written to the minister on several locations. The minister has challenged me to go to court instead of engaging me. That's the difference between Sharia and your minister. What has she done? You understand? No, no, no. I beg you. You, you, you mean you, 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 you wrote to her? No, you, you, you said, no, 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 you said, you said, you no, 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 You see, I didn't want to go down this road. I don't have to imagine. This is below Then, then you came, you have sat here and tried to position you that you in opposition were more proactive than I have been. I have not said so. That's what you're saying. I said, this is what I did. I have opportunity. I made an absolute statement. I will show you, I did not show you the steps I've taken. I'm an absolute statement. You wait. Okay. You wrote in opposition to an NBC minister mm. asking for help, raising the needs of your fishermen. She did not call your bluff. She did not rubbish you. It's she did approach. not challenge you. She did not challenge you to go to court. Do you understand me? I am putting on record that as far back as 2017, when I was less than an a year in parliament as a member of parliament, I wrote to the minister. I didn't write alone to the minister. I got my leader who is a chief whip, the deputy majority ch minority chief whip, Honorable Konfordo Yogansa, who is also an MP from a fishing community. I said, maybe because I'm a first-time MP, at least she's a senior, she's a member of leadership in parliament. We did a joint letter together to the minister. Sent the letter to the minister. For six weeks, there was no response from the minister's office. At least you wrote to Sherry Aite, she invited for you and engaged. What were you asking you for? You said that. But first and foremost, at that time, the issue was about light fishing and the brutalization of our... Of our of, 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 of some of our fishermen and the fact that some of our fishermen who were actually working with the ministry were not being equipped and they were going and they were being hurt on the instruction of the minister i had to go and pay medical bills uh. for a team of fishermen that the minister had asked to go out to do enforcement without any any, any, any provision of logistics. There's no intervention i think you Please, I'm showing you. About your leader raised this on the floor. I am showing you. I am showing you the, the, no, 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 you okay, the difference between you. between no, your government and our government. No, but I approach Sherry with humility. You see. Uh, uh, I engage uh, Sherry. Uh, what are you talking about? I didn't about? go there fighting. Uh, we went fighting. Market. I said we wrote a letter for six weeks. Uh, you didn't uh, have a Allow some George. You wrote a letter. You were invited. That's a different thing. I engage you see, so, 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 you see, I, for me, I could have gone all of this route. But when you sit here and try and paint the picture that you wrote to Sherry, and the NDC, well, I mean, the NDC is a, part, is a party. Is a party? Right. I engage. If Sherry. you guys will let me, I mean, I mean. And if you engage your colleague, if you do this, 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 it's okay. It's all right. Go on. Sajjad, please go on. After writing our letter to her, we actually approached her in the chamber because she's a member in parliament, our, our colleague in the in parliament. Myself and the my, minority minority deputy chief whip walked up to her and said, Oh, honorable, we've written a letter to your office. Six weeks. You haven't responded. What is happening? She said she doesn't have time for us. Those were her exact words. Okay. Those were her exact words. Was, and and, and okay. she was walking away. And do you even have to ask her and say, ah, I'm a leader in parliament? I'm talking to you. If you don't have time here, give us an appointment for us to come. She told us she, won't, she doesn't have time. We should come to the ministry. If we meet her, we've met her. That was her approach. And that is the difference. So don't but, sit here and paint a okay. picture. And then, and then uh, and right, please. All the things he has said, Afenyu has not disputed the fact that the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development under the Nana Dankwa Kufuado administration has implemented a close season without a mitigation plan for fishermen. But they said there is a mitigation No, 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 no. Right. When there are mitigation policies by government, it is not left to a member of parliament or a DC to activate it. The ministry is proactive and rolls it out. You understand me? When the ministry has an intervention policy, the ministry is the one rolling out a close fishing season. Okay, so we've taken notice of the fact that there are 150 fishing communities across the country. Mm. So we are doing A, B, C in these communities. There is no such policy. Don't tell me that there are mitigation plans and then you go and then it is left to the whims and caprices of whoever is sitting in the office to decide what to give to you and what not to give to you. 
Don't say that we have not made approaches. Don't say we have not made efforts. We have written about premix. We've written about our body engines. The approach under this administration is completely different. And look, right, this is not akin to only the Ministry of Fisheries. When they started Operation Vanguard, what roadmap was put in place for the artisanal uh, 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 miners? What sustainable alternative, sustainable livelihood was put in there? This government operates on an ad hoc basis, and that is what this is. So my brother, you may have enjoyed what you enjoyed in opposition simply because you had ministers who knew that they were serving a country. The case today is you have ministers of, of state who are running this government, who are running and serving in government as though they are serving a party and not a government. I'm grateful. That's the reality of the case. Mm. Right. Is that um, I, I would not, I, I, I don't have the permission. Right. right. Let's, 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 let's make the point. I mean, we, we, we can we argue, to go right. on on this. Right. There's I mean, more, there's I'm more right. details right. we can I'm give about this matter. Right. I need to make the point. I've tried not to make it about the minister, but if you continue on this, on this, on this tangent. Thanks, Right. I mean, on this platform. Most unfortunate, senior. On this platform. I don't want the impression to be created by my colleague that government officials have shut the doors on opposition members of power. That is the case. Well, well, that, well, that is, is the case. Well, is and I'm saying now, there is evidence now, of it. Now, now, I'm not saying okay. it alone. I'm not okay. saying it okay. in, in, okay. in okay. isolation. I'm saying that it no, happened you, you have, even with Doyo Gansa. You, you have made that point already, okay. so allow him to react. So, for the records, Honorable Doyo raised the issue of premix on the House floor, the minister responded positively. For the records, again, his respected senior has not come out to say that the issues she raised on the House floor, for which the minister addressed, are still pending. Well, I was with her in her constituency may, two let, let Tuesdays ago. We President Mahama. No, you see, may that's I what uh, uh, may I, I mean, finish. I mean, the point is making are may not finish. matters of may, fact. May, may you allow him. Yes. If he yeah. makes may any facts, you, you disagree. May, I get you may, may, may I finish? Okay, so that's you fine. Allow. If I have my chance to react again, that's fine. I know if you want to please hurry up. Just 10 seconds. Two. When Sino Hydro projects were rolled out, they were not rolled out in MPP, MPP areas where you say that the MP is an MPP, therefore it is the seat is held by an NDC. Government is not implementing anything there. The minority leader, his constituency, is seeing development as part of the the Sino Hydro what Initiative. What development? Again. Again, perhaps, perhaps, maybe the approach is what is creating a problem. I have no permission of colleagues of his who have gotten opportunities in this government for their communities. Okay. I don't have their permission to mention their names, so okay. I will not. But I think that ministers of state listening to this program, the Ministry of Information has heard what my colleague has said, mm. I know, I know that within this week, at least from what he has just said, government officials will put out names of colleagues who have approached their colleagues in, ministry, in the ministry for intervention in their areas and get the facts out there because this is a very serious matter where my colleague is making a serious allegation that because he is in opposition, or that many of his colleagues are not getting development into their areas because they are in opposition. The record will show that these are not factual. And okay. I know that You're very planning. soon after That's this program, this, this fact okay, will be it should out. be put out. All yes, right. it is important. I, I'm grateful. It is important. I'm grateful. So I'm just 10 seconds and then I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> when my brother now wants to move about, move the discussion on accessing what is are common national cake mm. to humble approaches. <laughs> then it tells you that we're not running governance, but we're running a, ch a chieftaincy kind of system. When I make an official request on my official letterhead as a member of parliament to my colleague member of parliament who is given an opportunity to serve people in the ministry, I don't see what humble approach you're talking about. I've written a letter. I've written a letter drawing your attention to challenges in my constituency under your ministry. And you tell me you don't have time to even sit down to engage me. What is the humble approach here? At least have the courtesy to respond to my letter. 
have the curtsy to respond to my letter. If you will not do that with me, if you are not aware, it is because of the lack of those letters, it is because of the, of, of the lack of opportunity to even sit down with the minister that the deputy minority chief whip had to resort to making a statement on the floor of the house. It is out of frustration. If the minister, colleague MPs do not like to summon our colleague ministers to parliament or make statements about them on the floor of the house. So your own admittance that Doyo had, Honorable Doyo had to make a statement on the floor of the house is testament to the fact that I'm making that, okay, say some judge is the problem. So Doyo also was not humble. Is that a submission, suggestion? It is because the minister okay. even refused to acknowledge receipt of our letters. We told her she didn't have time to sit down with her own colleagues to meet. And okay. that is why Doyo had to make a statement that you yourself admit. Okay. So you need to bear them, understand the fact that, look, and you can choose government. I'm challenging government. Government should put out their names. You say the honorable... Major, minority leader is, is getting projects because of what? And the I Hydro. I'm challenging you. I was in Tamale recently. Okay. I was in Tamale last weekend. Which project? I'm grateful. Let, let's wait for the project. Projects? Projects? Which project is oh, going uh, No, no, no. Right. I beg you. No, I want to let's challenge. wait. I'm challenging my senior. No, no. No, we, no my senior we made, approved it no, no. in parliament. Chief. We we seen, the we projects seen, were listed. No. You see, this is this is most okay. unfortunate. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. You you have you 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 have been in parliament longer than me, at least four years longer than me. You know that there are several things parliament has approved that have not seen the light of day. Mm. You have sat here and made a categoric statement that the minority leader is benefiting from the Sino Hydro project in his constituency. I am challenging Honorable Afenio Marke here and now to name one project that is well. ongoing in Tamale uh, uh, South. Okay. There is none. So, no, I am grateful. demanding he Let's retracts that because Let it is it is it is unfortunate that he will draw the Honorable Harun Idrisu into this matter and suggest that Honorable Harun Idrisu is benefiting from the Sino Hydro deal for his constituency when there is no such project. Okay. No such project. I am grateful, sir. This is this is um, most unfortunate. Um, right. I, I am no uh, Adam, parliamentary uh, no, records. Honorable Mark, I am not listening to you again. I am moving on. Gentlemen, I am moving on. The interchange that the the Tamale. Gentlemen, I have moved on. I am using your platform. You have viewers in Tamale. If there is even one shovel, one shovel. If there is one shovel in Tamale North now. Please send in a message. The, and uh, if it uh, is true, uh, that since President Akufuado left there, the, um, even the equipment that they hired for the day's celebration have been taken away, tell the people. Let's Let them send about, in a message. I am I'm sure. Let's talk about Shatawali and Stoneboy. For what? Honorable members of parliament, let's talk about Shatawali and Stoneboy. <laughs> I know you, you don't want to behave like the, the, the two of them. <laughs> No, as long as we don't want to behave, we can't be. You can't, you can't like behave that. like that. We know that. our level. Okay. We, we can't <laughs> behave like that. <laughs> you know your level. <laughs> but are we? Uh, one of the market. Are we? Are we getting? Uh, are we getting off track with what is happening? Well, um, you see, I've just read that the police uh, mm. arrested them. Yeah, they did. And uh, I don't know whether they've been detained. I had what, this what would have been uh, yes. released and that the, that they the whole weekend back was a busy yeah. weekend for me. Mm. Uh, on my way back to Accra at midnight, I, I had this matter on BBC mm. yeah. and I felt very disappointed that um, with all the good things that the government is doing and with all the successes they themselves are achieving uh, in their own uh, uh, profession they would allow this to happen. Well, there should be cool heads. Mm. The unnecessary rivalry would not help, all right? And uh, pulling a gun or doing a thing like this, going to and attempting to attack a colleague and all that would not help the industry. They make their bread from the industry. Right. They are more or less denying themselves their own bread. Because when you create that inertia, when you create that non-interest in your, in your own uh, field of vocation, then you are inviting hunger onto yourself and onto your family. So I'll plead with those in that uh, field, managers, bodyguards, uh, praise singers, and all that. They should, they should know and know better. Um, we don't have to create any uh, necessary impression about ourselves. Mm. It, it will not help. Uh, oh. Let me also mm. urge the police to do what is expected of them. Mm. Um, again, the police uh, 
uh, is saying that uh, in future is going to take charge of the security uh, of, of such events, mm. um, screening and all that. So that should be it. Now, let me conclude with this uh, uh, matter. Um, the fact that we demand something of right doesn't mean that we demand it anyhow. We demand it of right, but we must also create a relationship. A relationship that would enable us to achieve appropriate results, expected results. If you have, a, if you have your certificate and you are so qualified to lead people as president, DC, MC, MP, you engage them. Explain why you want to serve them. You don't just say that you are a lawyer, somebody is a form four liver, so you're entitled. You know, you may have issues. Okay. So I would want to plead with uh, my colleague. Um, I do not think that the impression created that um, uh, he's written and he's oh, been shouting. You're, 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 you're taking us back to that is, issue. Is most appropriate. I, I thought I had. I know. I know the minister of fisheries is a nice person. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know, I know she, and she know, and he knows, for and he knows that you have taken she us is back a very to nice person. The, the, the no, first but it, is, it wouldn't be fair to create to to, 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 to we'll, tell we'll the world up. that your we'll, colleague, we will wrap up MP on that. and the minister we'll, is snobbish. It is not fair. We will we'll, we'll wrap and up. And I think that. that even if there was some misunderstanding of a sort, uh, some will find a way of dealing with it. He's, he's capable. We will wrap up on he's that. But I'm Sam George. Was it fair for uh, you to suggest that? Uh, <laughs> I no, I made an absolute uh, statement. I, I and not, if in any I way, no. Right, right let me system. apologize to him. Right, 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 let me apologize to him. I have now gotten the drift. If, Sam, you know I have utmost respect for you. If in my submission, I in any way created the impression that you are not doing your work well, I retract, I apologize to you. I was making an absolute statement. Okay. I didn't in any way, I'm grateful. you know... <laughs> I did it in any I'm way. Grateful. I don't feel like I'm grateful. Making a comparison, trying to say that you have not made an effort. Okay. So if if you have made an effort on Maslock, let the records, uh, 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 the public know. Okay. If you have not, I'm then make I'm the effort. Like I'm, I'm grateful. Let me guess, I'm George. Uh, what happened uh, right. uh, over the weekend? Right. Can, no, we are I solving a problem. We'll He's my friend. On that. No, no, we've been business friends. We've market. been political friends. But we can't allow us to solve our problem. When we are running, you keep quiet. You solve the problem and allow him to solve the problem. Close the show. Let us close the show. Please. I'm asking, has he written to Mark? Your mark, your mark, your microphone is off. Don't put it off. It is off. It will be unfair to me. No, it is off now. Ask my question for me. I said when we are wrapping up, has he written to Mark? Up on that issue, Did no one can hear you. No problem, ask him for me. I know what's up, George. Right, Sata and then uh, the Bayas head the, me. The, the, the Bayas guy. Bayas head me. Oh, God. Huh? Right, you <laughs> let me let me state that I've been in this industry before. Mm. I, I mean, at a point in time in my life, I, I was into events and um, entertainment and all okay. that, yeah. And so and I've, engaged, I've engaged them. I mean, yeah. in 2009, I did what was arguably the biggest rave in, in Cape Coast. You know, at that time, Sarkodie was a very skinny young guy who had now come up. <laughs> he had just done, uh, he had done Baby, the Baby song yeah. with uh, Mugis of yeah. ROTBs. Yeah. And ROTBs yeah. had just done Ademado, Adego Crazy. That was actually the team uh, song for the, the, the campus rave that we did in at the Elmina Beach Resort. And so, I mean, I engaged, I've engaged these guys, Jay So Skillions and all of that. And I think that they have done fantastic work for themselves. Stone Boy has emerged under the tutelage of Samini and become a household name himself. Um, Charles Niyama Mensa was known when I was in the university as Bandana. The Shatta Man. No, Stone. Uh, the, yes, the the shutter, the shutter. as Bandana. <laughs> yeah. You know, he went into a beef at that time with a couple of people, yeah. left the scene, and I think he's done fantastic work with his rebranding as Shatawale. The way and manner in which he goes about some of his stuff, is it the best? Could it be better? Is it the best portrayal of our Ghanaian music? That's out for the public to judge. But I think that at on the, the platform which was afforded the two gentlemen, mm. 
Shatter and Stone Boy on, on, on Saturday, the VGMA's 20th anniversary should not have gone down this road. I mean, I've been very critical of Chatter House with some of the things they've done, but this year, from what I have gathered mm. from industry players, they, 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 they went all out. I mean, they wanted to give us a proper showcase and celebration of Ghanaian music. And I feel bad for them that this year when everything seems to have been on track, I mean, media was on point. We had TV3 carrying it live. And, and let me say thank you to TV3. In fact, the airtime, the value of airtime that TV3 committed to this event is more than government has spent. This government has spent since 2017 on the, on the, on the, on the entertainment sector. If we quantify the value of the airtime TV3 spent, on VGMA's 20, 20, 20, uh, 2019, is more than the MPP government has spent on the whole entertainment sector for two and a half years. So thank you to you. DSTV also put us all, uh, uh, across the whole, the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. It was being carried live, streamed on multiple platforms. And, and for me, it was a shame that we had what we saw there. Um, we've had a lot of post-factor rationalization. Oh, I was going to congratulate. Oh, I thought my life was, was, was at risk. I have always maintained, and I mean, I won't run away from it. I've done a Facebook post mm -hmm. stating that I believe that everybody is entitled to self-defense um, in the face of provocation. However, I still think, and I've had ACP Kofi, um, Kofi Ofori, Kofi my very good friend, is actually my constituent. He lives in my constituency. ACP, I've not forgotten about your road there. We'll still work something out about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the road to his house is quite bad. But... <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, but are you saying you should come to Wimba? <laughs> I'm asking. You have worse roads. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, but, but are you but, saying you should come to Wimba? Oh, no, no, we're happy to, to accommodate him, and he's happy to be with us in, 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 in Ningo Prom Prom. But I, th I still think that there must have been a set, there should have been a certain amount of intelligence done there. Watching at home mm, and following social media alone. Mm. About 30 minutes before this fracas broke out, I was watching at home with my wife. And there I were said hints her, of that coming? Oh, the threats had been multiple. I mean, <laughs> anybody who had followed social media, there were threats. And even that evening at the, at the venue, there were threats issued by one camp to another camp. People had actually, one of the artists had actually gone on, air to stay, uh, gone on social media and had been captured by many news portals that if he did not win a particular Category be, be that there was going to be trouble. I mean, and so the police hmm. and intelligence units, you see, we've taken this thing for granted. Oh, they are musicians, it's just beef. But hmm. this is what led to Tupac and Biggie, yeah. Christopher Wallace in the US. And the two gentlemen themselves may never go a certain or cross a certain threshold, but the fans who follow them, the fans who follow them, the, the brawls that would happen. It's important that we, we look to de-escalate. I okay. have seen that um, Stoneboy has issued a statement apologizing for his role. I think that he still owes a lot. And my advice to Stone, especially, who is a personal friend. Shatta is also a friend. But my advice to Stone is that he should bear in mind his brand. At times, you need to, you need to look at, you need to weigh the cost. Mm. I can understand. With your accent. Yes, I can understand his apprehension. His, okay. wife, his wife had been stabbed. I'm sure mm. if Afenio's yeah. wife had been stabbed, over something, and you see a repeat action coming, you will want to, to take a certain. Yes, but okay. but I mean, let's look at what Shatter, our viewers are saying. All of them, they yeah. must, they must, they must exercise a certain level of restraint, mm. and and I think that the police should just apply the law. The law okay. should work. Okay, Johnny, let's take some comments okay. and then mm. we'll wrap up the conversation. We'll, we'll start off. But so bigger, bigger. Before Johnny comes in, yeah. big ups to Samini. Yeah. Samini Dagati. Yeah. I was I was pained that he didn't win anything on the night, but <laughs> Samini restored some certain level of pride. <laughs> True. at that show yeah. if samini had not done his performance the day, the way he did it that day well, that big ups master respect samini okay he, he, he's still the water just like this is he's an industry player <laughs> <laughs> exactly so i, I agree with sam george uh, sam is an industry the, player. samini brought some level of calmness <laughs> and and sanity to the conference <laughs> center but at the time all the dignitaries had left because there was pepper spray yeah. and shocker yeah. and guns <laughs> and blows but this is uh, what Tilapia has got to say. Uh, he says that uh, Samini show that calmed the VGMA storm. And there you have it. Uh, sanity must prevail. The police must deal with the issues. Okay, let's go to WhatsApp straight ahead and hear what you're, you've been saying 
to us. It says it's hard for the government to initiate the closed season without alternative livelihood. The fishing communities are poor, and this decision would worsen the already hard uh, economic plight. I suggest the government should introduce allowances to the fishermen during the off-season. Mustafa Takradi, well, the fishermen must also learn to save. Good morning, Senior Bright. Uh, our designer fishermen do not drag fishing. Uh, <laughs> They don't do drug fish, I beg your pardon. This government has no social intervention program for the fisher folks. The fisheries minister has totally failed. And please visit our fishing, uh, our coast and see uh, our brothers in the industry. They've been left stranded. What uh, have they implemented? They have implemented and think they have done something better. I tell you, uh, work done is zero. How can you ban fish, fishing in our country, seawater, and allow foreigners to fish in that same water? Oh, Shatawali and Stoneboy, please, can somebody tell me what is wrong with these boys? because if these things happen it's a disgrace so far as Ghana music is concerned so these two musicians should learn uh, how to control themselves ah this is total disgrace mm, Ernest in Takradi and uh, good morning Johnny and Senior Bright two wrongs don't make a right both Shatter and Stone Boy were wrong considering the uh, the cause at uh, the VGMA uh, fallouts was created created by Shatter while it's high time Ghanaian musicians learn to be role models this is from uh, Ishmael Achara a mystic is that is wrong with do a jury says the unfortunate incident that happened at the VGMA is condemnable but uh, all ends up with the unprecedented insecurity and Ananado and his government. I predicted somebody was going to say this, and you have said it. Uh, we hope and pray Stoneboy and Shatawale face the law of the land to serve as deterrent to others. We are not safe under Ananado and cannot sleep with our eyes closed. Okay. Uh, good morning. With much respect, what Honorable Marke is saying is not true. No project is ongoing in Tamale South, which has been financed by the central government. And he thinks he should uh, mention, if, if well, he says you should mention them, he's well, daring no. you. <laughs> Mohamed Awale Dries in uh, Nyanshegu. Good morning to you, Bright and Sam. Um, as Sam said, there's no half inch block that is ongoing under the Sino Hydro projects in Tamale South. I live in Yohini and the Tamale South constituency. And what Stoneboy did is self defense because of the gun Shatawale uh, makes a U turn on the stage summit in Tamale. Emilia Naswazi said our current information minister should come out and apologize to the former minister for lying against him. It is not surprising that every unfortunate thing happening in this country, MPP finds a way to put it uh, on the past administration. Hashtag focus. Uh, you say Bim was defending himself because of the reaction Shata brought on stage. Mr. Host, uh, what Honorable Sam say, say, said is true. Uh, there's no such project in Tamale South. The salt cutting was done in Tamale Central by the president. Even nothing is happening. The Honorable Afejo should directly speak to issues and stop that meandering. Uh, the ban of fishing for one month might bring a good outcome, but it's not a well thought out. Uh, plan or initiative uh, before implementing Kwekumusa Akono in Community 2. And finally, uh, Sam George has, by his comments, demonstrated that he is just an armchair MP. If he was denied help, it means his negotiation skills are very poor. He should stop playing the victim and humble himself in order to get help from his people. Desmond, I will play Bato in Water Range. But anyway, uh, but later on in the show, Senior Bright will be discussing the VGMA in yeah, total. Yeah. I want to know why we had not a single scammer at the gates, yet we had armed <laughs> security personnel okay. there. Not a single scam, okay. 5,000 people in there. And the ministers and special guests from across the, the world had to move away when the pepper spray got in there because they okay. were all coughing. Grateful, Johnny. Let me get uh, honorable of your and honorable son George to now uh, patch up. They said they needed time to patch up. So you can patch up now. Oh, oh I think <laughs> that you said you, yeah, I said I'll give you that. Topic. Oh, okay. Well, no, no. I'm, I think I apologize to him ah, for okay. I mean, so that's getting, right. getting, getting, okay. getting me wrong. And I also wanted to know from him whether or not he's uh, approached Maslow. <laughs> the women groups, the fishmongers. I love what we, 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 <laughs> No, no, no. I want can, to know. You can, you can speak to Sticker. You can speak to Sticker. No, no. I don't and know. Find out I want him. to find and out. find out from him if I've engaged him or not. Okay. And, but but you see, no, right, I just want one to of know. the one key thing, one key thing that we must be minded about from mm. what happened at the BGM is, is to take security very seriously. In this, in this, in this, in this era of the heightened security alertness in the sub region, it is again telling that our police service did not deem it fit to do scanning of individuals mm. going into a place that was going to have that number of people 
anywhere you are going to have a congregation of over 300 people right now must be seen as a potential hotspot in the country and we must scan those places i mean look at tv3 i want to believe that afenyo Markin was stopped his car was searched yeah. was scanned I, I mean, I, ca I come here how many times? The security people ought to know me, but they constantly do their job because that's what they've been paid to do. Our police service must also up the ante. And as citizens, please let us be cooperative with the police. When the police wants to search, okay. please let's allow them to I search. So grateful. when the police invite you, don't make it partisan. I'm not for no. your marking. Today is Monday. No, no, but he says we should be good citizens. He's MP for a footu. A member of he the says that when the police invite Alexander I am in court with Sam George is me the MP for the group program. Me. A but member the of the you NDC. Me to come help you. You. Gentlemen, that have happen? a fantastic Monday morning. Is that, is that, is that uh, we hope you should be advising you. the CID of police and giving her hope. You have promised not to go uh, the way the two gentlemen went. So oh, no, 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 no. All right. I don't know more than once again. In this case, I don't know who's coming up. Good morning.